This is Taurus McBride with HVAC Tutor, and this is a part of a simulator that I'm working on, and it's showing some of the different parts and pieces inside of a, uh, a reciprocating chiller. So it's our compressor, condenser, it's our metering device, it's our evaporator. This is a question that might appear on a refrigeration test. So identify the part that may be used to regulate superheat. So the answer is uh, TV. Now, in this little demonstration, all of the answers are going to be TEV. What I wanted to show are the different ways that I could ask the same exact question. Where is the instrument which has the power head? It's TEV. Right? Next. Uh, which part of the system is found at the end of the high side? And I can go on and on and on and on and on. And literally, there are hundreds of ways of asking the same exact question. The problem in the industry is that when we uh, teach people and when we test people, we basically have a, a standard set of questions and answers. And the students get used to those questions and answers as opposed to actually thinking about the material. Even having to interpret the, the structure of a sentence, the different ways that a question can be asked is forcing me to think about it as opposed to just memorizing uh, a set of questions and answers. And in the system that I'm working on, let's say if somebody doesn't understand, I can pull up additional information here about my uh, TEV and I don't have to look in any other places to find these details. The, the same variability with which I can show you a number of different questions here is the same variability that a, a technician or an operator is going to find in the field. If uh, anybody has any thoughts or any feedback on uh, what I've been doing or talking about, please feel free to reach out to me and I will talk to you later.